hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here i'm peace from uganda the beautiful pearl of africa for the returning subscribers thank you very much for always coming back to watch my videos if you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing so on today's video i'm going to be showing you how we make charcoal briquettes here at home in many villages and towns around uganda Choco is a vital source of fuel for cooking, but traditional charcoal production can deplete forests and contribute to environmental problems. Today, we will learn how to make charcoal briquettes, an alternative fuel made from charcoal dust and wheat flour. These briquettes are sustainable, affordable, and they help to reduce on deforestation. The charcoal dust usually has larger particles of charcoal, so it must be crushed into a fine powder. Or you can sieve it to get a fine powder. Sieving the charcoal dust ensures that the briquettes hold together firmly when pressed. The crushing process can be done manually, but in larger operations, you can use a machine to crush this charcoal dust into fine powder and if you're working with charcoal dust you must put on a mask to protect your respiratory system the next step is to mix the charcoal dust with a binder the binder helps the briquettes hold together when pressed cassava flour wheat flour or clay can be used as a natural binder Today, I'm going to be using wheat flour. Add the binder to the charcoal dust. The wheat flour will help the briquettes stay firm. When the wheat flour is evenly mixed with the charcoal dust, you add warm water. And then you mix everything in a similar way you make dough. When making something beautiful like charcoal briquettes, you have to let your little ones take part because that's how they'll learn to make these things on their own. So my little one has chipped in to help in the mixing. She has been asking lots of questions and I have been answering. At first she thought we are going to make bread, but to our surprise, it's charcoal briquettes. So let little children get involved and don't hesitate to answer their questions when they ask, especially during sessions like this. When the mixture has cooled a bit, you go ahead and mix it thoroughly with your hands. Mix, mix, mix and mix until the whole mixture turns thick and sticky. The more you mix, the more you realize that it's changing texture. After mixing, the next step is to mold the briquettes. In many villages, simple hand presses are used to shape the briquettes. These presses are easy to operate and affordable, making them ideal for small-scale production. If you want to get a prettier shape of the briquettes, you can use this particular wooden material right here. But for this, when you fill in uh, all the mixture of the charcoal dust and the wheat flour, you have to press and compress down so that the whole thing can get caught within this particular box. Using the safe box to make the briquettes is a little time consuming and it makes larger briquettes which take longer to dry when placed under the sun. So for today, I'm going to be using my own hands 
to mold the briquettes. I'm still getting lots of questions about what I'm making from my friends around. But let us proceed from where we stopped. You can also use gloves to prevent the whole mixture from getting stuck on your hands. That's if you want to do this thing faster. And the smaller the size of the balls made, the less time they will take to dry when placed under the sun. As I mold the briquettes, allow me to say thank you to my camera people. It's my seven-year-old nephew and my five-year-old niece that have been on the camera this whole time. They are learning how to do the filming thing and I'm just so proud for each and every one of them. But I'm also proud for each and every one of you who subscribe to the channel and who always comes back to watch the videos. For those of you who have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. Give this beautiful video a like and drop a comment to let me know what you think about today's video. Have you made charcoal briquettes before? What method did you use to make your charcoal briquettes? Leave it in the comment section down below. We could also try your alternative. When you're using your hands to mold, you have to make sure you press the briquettes so that they become firm. Very, very firm. And once the briquettes are pressed, they must be dried in the sun for several days. This hardens them, making them ready for use. In sunny climates, it is an efficient and natural way to prepare the briquettes. So you leave them out to dry for a few days and once they are hard, they will be ready for cooking. You can see after the fourth day, the briquette is very hard. I'm trying to press it, but it is not breaking. That is how it should be before you use it for cooking. The charcoal briquettes burn longer and produce less smoke, making them a cleaner and more sustainable fuel for all the village households. Making charcoal briquettes is more than just creating fuel. It's about sustainability, resourcefulness, and protecting the environment for future generations. By turning waste into energy, you are making a difference one bricket at a time. If you have gotten something from this video, kindly give it a like. Drop a comment to let me know what you think about today's video. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please support the channel by subscribing. Let us meet in another video. Bye-bye.